This is a video that I saw by this, uh, I think it's called Red Red Pill Channel. It's a pretty good channel. Guy has good advice. Uh, this particular uh, client of his, or no, no, subscriber of his, sent him a message saying that he's a white guy, an engineer, 47 years old, still is at home with his parents, and doesn't have any children. He wants to sire a child. Like, he's having baby rabies for a man. I've never heard of that. But, lo and behold, he's 47, doesn't have any kids, and he found this black woman, 29 years old, an ICU nurse. So she's educated. He better run from her because she's not. And then she claims that there's no good black men. All the good black men are either, I think it was gay or in jail. I'm not gay. I'm not in jail. I'm educated. But I guarantee you that woman would not be checking for me. If I was in present in her presence, she would not make eye contact. If I walked past her, she would walk like she had her head in a vice where she couldn't look in my direction. Because if I give him a look, he might speak and I don't want him to speak. Yo, oh, seriously. And, you know, she overlooked the fact that the dude's 47 years old and lives at home. If he's saving money, that's cool. But I don't know where being 47 living at home is going to make you sexy. But, black woman, they always overlook a white man's flaws because he's white. He can live at home and be 47 because he's white. He can be balding because he's white. He can have a hip to shoulder ratio that's not good. If you don't know hip to shoulder ratio, you take your, uh, your waist as the numerator and your shoulders as a denominator for a man. So my waist is 30 and my shoulders are 40. So you take 30 over 40 and the zeros cancel out. You got three fourths, which is 0.75, which is the absolute, the absolute perfect uh, shoulder to, to hip ratio for a man. So see what yours is. If you don't know how to do it, just divide your waist into your shoulders. And if it's close to 0.75, you got close to a good physique. But the, the white guy that, that, that shaped like the letter O, he can look like that because he's white. I saw another content creator has something. He posted something where you had um, a black female get married to this white guy and he was paralyzed. And I'm talking, y'all remember Kathy from, from um, Different Strokes? She was like that. Or he was like that. But he was white. So he probably got all, and with being handicapped, probably got all types of benefits and stuff from the state. So she, she chose him. But anyway, getting off topic a little bit, he was he got it set up to where he can get that girl pregnant. Like she doesn't mind him getting her pregnant. And she don't think like that's a meal ticket come up for her. First of all, she's with it because he's white and she wants that mixed baby. If she's dark skinned herself, she's definitely on board with having that man's child. So she's looking at it from that perspective. And the fact that he's an engineer, that's a financial come up for her. So, you know, if he wants to spend the next, the better part of the next 20 years being emotionally distraught and in and out of family court, and he'll be 67 years old, he doesn't have, why run the, why run the risk of ruining your life? this late in your life at 47 because you don't have okay if you have 20 years of misery at age 47 you ain't gonna have 20 years of good shit after the 20 years of misery because the 20 years of misery at this age at his age at 47 or even my age 45 the emotional stress will take more of a toll on you in your 40s than it would in your 20s so if he took uh, emotional stress in his 40s when he's 60 that stress will have gotten to his body to the point where he won't have a, a solid 20 years of happiness. No way. So, um, but the guy, he wasn't that forceful with the guy. The guy's an idiot. To, and he doesn't want to go the surrogate route. He doesn't want to go uh, to a foreign country and get a woman that's a little bit more feminine and 
and, and, and more domesticated can make and build a good home for him. He got himself one of these educated black women that think they're holier than thou and think that the world is at their disposal and that they're God's gift to women. I mean, I'm sorry, God's gift to men and the world. So he's dealing with a huge ego. And he's dealing with uh, a person who's got rights and entitlements. And he's about to find out the hard way. But hey, that's on him. You know, like if he wants to do it, let him do it. Like I would tell him not to do it, but I wouldn't be upset if he went ahead and did it anyway. That's his life. I just sit back and laugh at people when they make stupid mistakes like that. And then when they say, I told you so. Yeah, I did tell you, nigga.